I think that's recording. <laughs> All right. Take my shoes off. Okay, so what I'm working on today is I'm going to be making some cups, some nice cute little rounded cups. You can see I've already got a chunk of clay on the wheel here. I had lessons earlier this morning, so just now getting back into it. I'll go ahead and recenter what I have here. And when I'm doing cups, one of the things I like to do is to sort of grab a little section of the clay on here and just sort of partition it off so that way I have kind of an idea of just how much clay I'm going to be using for that cup. You can see I've got a nice little thing going there. Flatten the top. Get my thumb well. Widening it. I want to do some cute little rounded cups today. Something with this nice little almost pot belly look here. Flare at the edge. Let's give it a little character. Okay. Well, that's kind of close to what I was hoping for. Turn this little guy off here. Hmm. And here's my cute little roundy cup. Set him over on the wear board. Recenter the clay. to do some smaller guys today. Get something like a little bitty teacups going here. And for tiny cups, it's the same principle. You know, you go in, make your thumb well, widen the clay, It's kind of cute. There we go. Nice round little chubby cup. air bubble in there. Oh, there he went.
always leave that good thick chunk on there so that I have a lot of clay to carve away to make my foot rim exactly how I want. Dad. Cute little guy. And when you're throwing off the hump, a lot of times you get this like little sort of uh, flying saucer thing going there. A lot of times it's just easier to cut it off rather than trying to recompress it into the clay. Because if you don't do it just right, it's going to end up folding over on itself and you'll get. Um, like an air bubble or some water trapped in there. It's pretty much saying, hey, I want this to crack. Cute! So cute! See if I can even get it over on the wear board. Uh oh. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, here's some of today's work. <laughs> of wearing skinny jeans. have to constantly stop and fix things. <laughs> no, it's bad. Shouldn't say stuff like that. There we go. I'm getting some of the uh, clay that's migrated to the bottom back in place here. Now as I'm opening the thumb well there, I don't really have a lot of pressure on uh, both hands. I'm just mostly using this one, doing a little sign language B there. I'm just sort of grabbing the clay and
pulling it over this way and lifting up mostly with this hand this one's just there support bit bigger. Still got that nice roundy shape. And who knows, I might even put little handles on these guys. If I put handles on them, I'll put a video of that up too, just to prove that I do handles every so often. I usually don't like handles too much because I don't like how they sort of uh, interrupt the shape of the piece. But a well, well constructed handle can still be very pleasant. There we go. That's fine. little cup. Oh, there's a bug in my water. Yeah. See if I can get one more out of this. Oh yeah, there's plenty of clay left. That's good. He's not as pot-bellied as the other guys, but that's okay.
Okay, there's my last little cup from that pile. <laughs> Cleaning off the wheel. Important part. All this clay that's still sitting around here, I'll re wedge and remix, but this is always so satisfying. Oh, yeah. This is a very good way to sharpen your tools. <laughs> this thing is getting to about a razor sharp edge. On the splash pan. There we go. Good enough. Great. Drop my sponge. Okay. And there we go. Peace.